Welcome to another episode of Adventure Sphere. Today I'll be covering James Curtis Kitchens, a man missing from Eagle Point, Oregon. But first, become part of our family by subscribing to our channel, stay up to date by ringing the notification bell, and share our content with those you influence. These simple gestures make it possible for us to put together a volunteer sonar search and recovery dive team, look for the missing people featured on our channel, and reunite them with their family and friends free of charge. The places I mention are shared with my blessing so James can be reunited with his family, regardless who higher powers work through. The description box has our email address if you'd like to share insight on any cold case, need help pulling up older maps of an area, or know someone missing with a vehicle and would like them featured on our channel. The video of Google Earth has a measurement from a starting point theory or known location and goes out to possible search areas. We focus on bodies of water within five miles from home, their last cell phone ping, last known location, and sentimental sites where water is deep enough to hide a vehicle. If an area has been heavily searched, we may expand the search area, but please keep in mind that accidents tend to happen closer to home. James Curtis Kitchens, then 48, is missing from Eagle Point, Oregon. His last date of contact was September of 1998. He uses the aliases J.C. Good Pasture, J.C. Kitchen, and James or J.C. Watkins. He departed his home for an extended business trip and did not return. Return. He remained in local area and out of contact into 1999. He drives a white 1991 Chevy truck, Oregon license plates, VHD, David, 680. Detective Chris Adams with the Jackson County Sheriff's Office can be reached at 541 774 6800 or you can call the anonymous tip line at 541-774-8333. Another website, Charlie, the Charlie Project has his date of birth as February 13th, 1950. He was last seen in Jackson County sometime in September of 98. His wife reported he left the house to buy cigarettes and never returned. He's never been heard from again. His wife told his sister that they were divorced, but his sister could find no evidence to support this. His sister lives in Texas and reported him missing in 2002. Missingin.org says he's missing out of Medford, Oregon. I've got previous addresses for him in Jacksonville, Oregon, Rice, Texas, Medford, Oregon, and Linwood, California. The areas I would initially like to search are the Little Butte Creek, Antelope Creek, Rogue River, there is the Modoc Pond and two adjacent ponds, Medford County Water Reclamation, Dodge Bridge County Park, Whetstone Pond, Hamill Reservoir, Wolf Fork Reservoir, there's a quarry five and a quarter miles southeast of town that could be promising, uh, the Agate Lake County Park, Swaggerty Reservoir and the Hoover Reservoirs. Depending on where we're at next year, if I'm in the Texas or California or other parts of Oregon, I'm more than willing to search any of those related towns for him. If you like this episode and haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel, give our videos a thumbs up, and share the movement with those you influence. What do you think happened to James? Do you think we should start in uh, Eagle Point or start in Medford? I'll be looking for your thoughts in the comments below. Sharing your ideas helps the family and our community efforts. You may have a different way of thinking that could bring him home. We really appreciate the time you've invested into watching our purpose come to life. It means the world to us, the families, and the communities we serve. 100% of donations received stay within the organization to help purchase sonar equipment that will help families for years to come. Your contributions from subscribing, watching our content, liking and sharing to financial support make it possible to offer our services free of charge 
when the families and communities need all of us the most. To show our gratitude, I'll release a giveaway and donation video shortly. The first giveaway will occur when we reach 300 subscribers, and you must be subscribed to win. Immediate donation links are in the description. Kickstarter and GoFundMe campaigns are coming soon. The video will play maybe five minutes, just so you can see the entire search area. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, and remember that we love you.